Welcome to RaiGuruGuru.com. In this video, we'll discuss about how to create a change request from a CI. So we can create a change request from a list of CI or add selected CIs from a list to change record. So if you don't know about how to create a change request from a CI, then consider watching complete video. And if you have not yet subscribed this channel, consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates. So for creation of change request from a CI, we have to navigate into the configuration item from the configuration. Uh, you will find it out servers and from the servers, you have to select the Unix configurations and in the configuration, you will find it out servers. So we have to search it for the servers and post that we have to select the Unix. You can see here inside the server list, you will find it out Unix. When we are select on one or more CIs from the list, you can see the complete list is available here for acting select one or more CIs from the list. Let's see here and from the one of these options from the actions list, we can select. Let's select this and in the available or selected items, you can see it here. So in the in this sections, you can see all of the active directs which is available as a selected list is name, operating system, descriptions, OS version and class. You can also add some of the additional field which is required for your pattern. So let's say in the uh, operating systems, you can see different sections which is categorized here. So if you want to create a new items uh, in the Unix server, then simply we have to click on new and you can see Unix new record is added here. In the name sections, you can add the name of your existing change request or you can create a new change request which is required for your navigations. Let's go back and see the list of the options which is available here in the action selected routes. You can select the assigned tag, new tag. So in the CLS, the business class CLS are added to impacted service CLS related list on the change request. This remain same CIs are added to the affected CI. So you can select any of the tags which is required. Let's select add to existing change request. So select this option. I'm not able to select it. Let's multiple item and then Post selecting this, you will find it out change request. Depending on a selections, either an existing change request is updated with the selected CIs or new change request record is created with the selected CIs. We can continue to create and modify the change record as required. So here we have to provide the change request and once we will provide change request type is here. Searches for this and we'll see different change requests are available here. It's totally dependent on the numbers or the data which you have searched it. So let's say I'm giving here as a CR and click on search tab. We will find out the number section. So in the number section, so you can add uh, some numbers like uh, 345. And this detail will be added inside this existing change request. If it is available, if it is not available, we cannot proceed it further. But if you want to see new created change request we have to define different name asset tax manufacturer asset definitions company and whenever there is a mandatory field required you have to provide these details once you'll click on the submit your change request is created in unix server as a new record so this is how we can create a change request from a ci options if it is already available you can modify it when we talk about add to existing change request, this is a selected that option to associate the CI with an existing change request. When we click on the add to new, so let's go back here and select the add to new. So if we are selecting first, select the items and then click on add to new, you will find it out different sections are available here. Here you have to provide complete detail like planning, conflicts, node and closure information, which I've already discussed in my previous video. I'll also include the URL in description tab so that you will understand. After watching that video, you will understand these sections, why it is required. So post 
selecting all this click on submit and your create a change request from a ci will be created successfully that's all about this video hope you liked it if you really enjoyed this session consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates thank you for watching